Hi all, uh, welcome to the Urbi Academy. And today topic is uh, SQL inner join for beginners. And uh, let us see. And uh, I have come up with a uh, few example and I will explain you how the SQL inner join is going to work here. Let me show you. Let me show you here guys and see here. SQL inner join include the rows or the record from the table where the join conditions are satisfied. Usually what we are getting is matching rows from the two tables and it is going to display the matching rows. And I have shown the same detail <clears throat> in the Venn diagram also. Uh, like the table one and the table two I have taken. And uh, let us see the other example here, guys. And uh, we have the two tables. I have taken the two tables here. One is the hmm, one is the student table. I have taken, and the other is the department table. And the query is joined on uh, student dot SID and uh, department ID column I have combined and the query output return the student record from the SID that exists in the both tables it is going to give. I will show you the how the exactly uh, what is happening here guys. Okay. I see here in the uh, let me explain you clear way okay in the student uh, student table what and all uh, columns i have is sid that is student id and student name i have inserted the two or uh, three records here one is the raju raj and the basava and three is the kill and uh, see here in the second table department table uh, id and department name or oh, i have inserted the around four records one two one two six seven and department name isc csc ec and bt okay what is the common here uh, these two these two are common here guys okay the one and two here also one and two and uh, if i use the inner join and it is going to display the matching rows matching rows are what are the matching rows one and two are the matching rows here this is the student uh, student table and this is the uh, department table uh, i'll consider the table one and this is the table two okay matching rows what is our output this uh, uh, raj what i am pitching is raj basava and isc cac i should get as the output Okay, let me show you that. Okay. See here, SQL inner zone. Select the common record. Common records are one and two here, the common records. And uh, table using the select query I am using. What is the select query I am using here? Select student name, department name, prom, student, yes. And I have taken the alias, inner zone, and department uh, D on s dot s id equal to d dot id i have taken and what is the end result i am expecting i told you right one and two from the student table okay raj and vasuva and uh, department name is isc and csc raj has the id is one and vasuva has the id two that is the reason we are able to get this results okay and the inner join return the common matching rows from the both table therefore it is also known as equizine please note sometimes some interviewer is going to ask the what is the equizine uh, equizine is nothing but the inner join guys okay you no need to confuse yourself okay you just uh, whenever they will ask the question about the equizine uh, you can say give the example student or the department table and you can uh, it is going to um, um, uh, give us the matching rows from the both table you can mention and you can subscribe to this channel and save the screenshot to the hr.urbi at gmail.com and get the PDF file also. And now uh, we'll see the practical way how, what and all we have done it here. Okay, let us go back and understand here guys. Okay, what is what we are doing here is. Okay, let me show you the one by one. First, what I am doing here is. Okay. First, what I am doing here is the I am 
creating the table student and the department how we have to create the table is the create table and uh, this is the table name yeah this is the schema name i have taken the student table and i am taking the sid as a uh, int and the student name as a care like this i am creating the other table the create table and department and id i am taking and int as the integer type department name is the where care okay so this one i have taken it here and uh, once you create the table now and what we have to do the check the tables as created or not using the select star from student and select star from department you can check using these queries and we have to insert the sample record to the student and the department table okay and in so for this what we are going to use is insert into the table name and uh, sid is the column and student is also column values. What are the values I am going to insert? One is the SID Raj and two Basava three three records I am going to insert into the student table. And once that is done, we are going to insert the around four record into the department table. What is the syntax for the insert statement is insert into the department and what are the columns I need to what are the columns uh, I have to insert the data is ID and department name. What is the ID? And after that, you have to mention the values because multiple values you are going to insert. Now, here uh, it should be in the open bracket and close bracket. And after that, comma, comma, it will come. And separated comma, you can insert the around uh, 10 record, uh, 1000 records. It is a based on the requirement. Here, on example, I have taken the poor uh, records here. Okay. At the end, the semicolon should be there. Okay. I have inserted the poor record. Once that is done, you need to. <clears throat> you need to get the student name and department from the both table both table student and department the simple query the select i am doing the student name from the student table and department from the department table how we are combining is using the inner query the student uh, alias i am doing yes inner join i am doing and department d on which yes dot sid and this is the common uh, common between the both tables right that is the reason i am using the on condition s dot id s id from the one table and d dot id from the uh, department table this is the common that is the reason i have mentioned it here so i am going to create the table and i am going to check whether the it is been created or not and after that i'll show you everything guys okay okay and uh, let me take this one this one into the mysql database guys and you can see in this uh, schema shop.db there is a no the students are the department okay so let me let me create okay okay i've taken the first one i am going to execute it here you can select here Create a table done right. You can uh, repress this. You can see the student. Mm. Shop DB. Mm -mm -mm. You can do like this. Repress all. Then we'll be able to see the students. Okay. And similarly, I'm going to create this table also. See and if you replace also it is not showing let us see department department yeah department it came correct now department it came and uh, as i said we need to check the how whether the students are both table created or not let me check the student table okay yes id and student name it has been created for a department give the semicolon execute it your id and department name once that is created we need to insert the data into it okay let me show you the i am going to insert the three records into the student table i will show you that whether those are inserted or not also okay take here and okay see here once you executed three rows affected has been there is a no error here in the action output you can see that right so there is a no error here okay i will show you whether the student table has a nothing database there now see here three records one two three four okay 
one, two, three are there, okay? And similarly, I'm going to insert the data into the department table. Okay, I will go here, I will delete the older one. Okay, and let me insert this data. Click here, poor records got affected, okay? And once that is the poor record got affected, now you can check the data is available in department table, okay? So here, one, two, three, four, four records got inserted. Now, you have to, once the data is coming, what we have to write the uh, query for inner join. I've already written the inner, uh, um, inner join query or else you can write the letter also, okay? So what we are expecting student name and uh, department name from these two table, okay? We can check it here also. See, Raj and uh, this one, also it is coming. If you want to display the ID also, I can display that. Okay, ID column also. You can see one and two, it should display. One and two, it is displaying, okay? Okay, so this is how the we are going to try for inner join, guys. I hope you guys are understood the basic concept of the, how the inner join is going to work. If you guys have the, any doubt, please comment on this video. If you like my videos, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.